Hello, welcome to Gunner Drillers Podcast. I'm with Justin. Today we're reviewing Space Riders Volume 1, published by Black Mask. Now, I, I know I said I promised that I would review. Uh, my next comic or slash manga review would be uh, Ragnarok Volume 8. Uh, the pro- which I've been reading it. I only have like three or four chapters left. The problem is. Um, I, you know, I just, you know, I started reading this on the, the toilet, places like that, and it was very quick read, <laughs> so not much I can do <laughs> about that, so, yeah, so it's written, this comic book is uh, created by Alexis Zerak and Fab, Fabian Rangel Jr., written by Fa- Fabian Rangel Jr., art by Alexis Zerak, which, uh, it's the, the book is dedicated to Jack Kirby and you have um, an introduction by uh, Jorge R. Guterres from El Tigre and the Book of Life. Wasn't there an El Tigre cartoon? Is that the same thing or I don't know. So it's like a four chapter graphic novel and like reading it it's like it's, it reminded me a lot of like Adult Swim, <laughs> like ultra violent, trippy LSD, DNT vi- uh, visuals, and sh- you know, like shit like uh, Super Jail, um, fuck, <laughs> Super Jail, American, uh, Ugly Americans, like sh- shit like that, you know. It, and it's like, you know, the art style is a little sloppy. But it look it like the visuals and the like design for all the different um, characters and aliens look super cool. And there's some Jack Kirby esque like visuals, especially with the space the space bikers called bikers, which have like these like very old school like Asgardian like Marvel Comics Asgardian like uh, costumes, which you've ever seen. If you ever seen or read um, Old School 4, it's like super trippy with its like visuals. Which I was supposed to review uh, for Serpent of Seth, which was like a comic book from like the 60s or whatever. But it was like, yeah, old comic book probably wouldn't have gotten much views. Which, you know, my comic videos don't get much views at all. So yeah, uh, you know, it is what it is. So the, the story is basically you have this organization called the, what was it called, the Earth, oh my god, they said it somewhere near the end, uh, the Earth Interpla- Interplan- uh, sorry, Interplanetary Space Force, which our main character, Captain Pelgro, is, um, is a member of the, uh, inter- uh, the Earth Interplanetary Space uh, Force or whatever the fuck it was called, I just I just forgot and I just said it out loud. <laughs> when like he was during a mission where he was fighting a space fleet, uh, his partner named Hammerhead, who doesn't look like a Hammerhead Shark, but uh, he is like Shark, uh, but he has like a big uh, almost box like TV uh, head, which you know he stabs him in the eye. While, while they're fighting in, a, in a, like a space battle, which their ship is called the Sante Merte, which there's a lot of Mexican slash Spanish like themes in here. But the main character is clearly like, I'm assuming he's Mexican, but he look he doesn't look that you know Mexican. He looks more like uh, I would say more Spanish, but you know. But I'm assuming he's Mexican because the ship, which is shaped like a skull, a blue skull. It's called the Sante Mierte, which is, I think it's a reference to Day of the Dead or whatever, which I don't think they celebrate Day of the Dead in Spain. I think that's only a Mexican thing, but I could be wrong. If you guys know, let me know. I'm, I'm Canadian, and I don't know, you know, not, and I'm not Mexican, so I wouldn't know uh, these things. So he gets stabbed in the eye. He gets rescued, though, by other members of the uh, EISF, sorry, EI. SF and oh, I said it right the first. <laughs> uh, yeah, he gets chewed out by his uh, commanding officer, which is like this uh, white tiger 
a guy with a metal jaw who loses one of loses like part of his skull near the end of the, the comic uh, comic book spoiler alert. So the the guy lost his eye and then he gets you know a psychological test by this robot lady called Yara who is very reminiscent of that robot lady from some famous rock and roll album. I don't I don't remember what it is, but you know it's 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 pretty much the same. I don't remember. What, it's a fa- it's a famous album. I just don't remember. <laughs> I don't know if it was Iron Maiden or Metallica, but it's some like rock and roll or heavy metal fucking album. So they, yeah, she says she, he's unfit for for um, duty. So they, they uh, suspend him for a year. They then find him at like a bar where he punches out this wolf <laughs> wolf man <laughs> and threatens to pull his head out when like you know what his new um, first mate shows up to tell me you're back on the job which his new first mate is um mono which is a baboon man who if you look at if you you see his backstory and he he was like some like you know basically african warlord kind of deal going on (laughs) kind of like the monsieur um fuck the the he, he was like a Doom Patrol villain. It's, like, it's kind of the same character. Like, he found religion, and his religion is very Freemason-esque with, with its, like, pyramid and, like, you know, third eye, which he constantly says, like, by the third eye whenever something shocking happens, you know. And all, also, the, the robot pitch that had him suspended in the first place is also part of his new crew, and... They, you know, he get he gets reinstated, but he's told, uh, you know, uh, one, like, he gets three conditions, you know, or, one, you must complete three missions without requesting reinforcements, two, you must not deviate from, you know, standard procedure, lastly, you must not seek out your former first mate, <laughs> who betrayed him, so, like, no, he's like, no problem, which, th- none of that, uh, matters, because, once they they take off on the Santa Murta, like bullshit after bullshit happens, they get attacked by space space Viking bikers, which look super cool, and like crash land on on some planet where they meet this um, chick that looks very much like Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, with her, including the space bikini, and she turns out to be a wizard, fixes their ship for no for nothing and like that's when you kind of learn the backstories of our different characters um apparently like you know yara yara was basically from a planet that's very that was very much like uh, cybertron where there was a robot where they were all robots and there was a robot civil war and then like she fled the planet and became refugee and found a, a job with the earth uh you know space force Earth into enter planetary space force, and uh, yeah, after that, it's just like random shit after random shit, where they get they get. Um, also, there's some anti whaling bullshit in here because they run into a space whale, uh, and like you know, it's like who, like you know, uh, the space whale gets attacked by space whalers and they kill the the space whalers. <laughs> He's like, some motherfucker will find a way to... Sorry, uh, the line here is, no matter how beautiful something is, some motherfucker will find a way to make money from selling it. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so they, they get um, apprehended by uh, robots who fu- who are protecting the space uh, whale. They, they prove their innocence, and they get let go and get told, hey, um... One of the attackers was this guy named Satanus, <laughs> which is very reminiscent of uh, uh, Devil Man. Also, you see like Yara shoot uh, shoot guns out of her boot, her robot boot, in one scene, which looks look very nice. Um, yeah, they get told about basically this space temple that they go to investigate, which you know it turns out like. Uh, Pelgro's dad, who, who founded the 
founded the Space Riders, got got lost and died finding the finding this uh, you know space temple that's supposed to be a myth, which is also the mecca of the uh, Baboon Man's uh, religion. It turns out though they were sent on like a wild goose chase and uh, goose chase and Satanus was not there but was attacking the Earth interplanetary space force and they go and rescue everybody and then like there's like basically you know like a foreshadowing on like an evil force is coming blah 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 and also you get like this cover where there's like some Freemason shit saying some satanic bullshit you have the baboon guy at one ish at one point is meditating is making the pyramid sign with his hand there's more free freemason bullshit well and you also there's a cover where you see the bafflement and freemason shit he, the, they, they straight up have the like the freemason like you know um pyramid with the fucking third eye on it you know which is you know it is what it is so I really enjoyed the book. It's super ultra violent. You got pretty visuals, pretty colors. My problem with this book is um, it's really short, and it was like I don't know how much I paid for this. I think I paid maybe 15 bucks for it, maybe 16. It was super short, and you know it's the thing where like there's so many books like this. It's like can I recommend this over something like? books like Fear Agent or like, you know, Grant Morrison, like Grant Morrison's like Green Lantern Run or like anything by Chip Starling, which are based other also like space trippy adventure books. But like what this book has that don't, what those books don't have is ultra violence swearing and, uh, you know, the whole adult swim like feel to it. So if, if you're a fan of adult swim, I think you will you will love this book. It's it 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 like just screams out like old school like the Dolph Swim fan. Yeah, and also I forgot to mention how they purposely made the pages, printed out the pages to look like dirty, and like there's like stains and like you know there's like fingerprints over one of the pages. Like they purposely print it to make it look like dirty and rugged <laughs> so I that's kind of, that's a cool touch I've never seen that before you know and there's like it's this book was printed in 2015 it's a 2015 book and there's like no SGW shit other than like the you know the anti-whaling thing which you know I I kind I kind of see like both sides but I'm more I'm more linked between you know uh, whalers probably because you know there's there's a lot of poor like Slavic countries or poor Asian countries where basically they make their 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 you know bread and butter off whaling to survive you know it's not the choice is either you know starve or, or whale so it's like you know it is what it is right but you know these these stupid pita people who live in like suburban fucking, you know, suburban fucking, you know, neighborhoods don't fucking understand, you know, not every fucking country, um, you know, you have that shit, you know, you know what I mean, oh, I paid 16 bucks for it, okay, no, it's not, not bad, I am definitely going to pick up the, the second book, if it's still, if it's still at, if they still have it at the comic book store, which, you know, I, I only pick up, you know, one book at a time, time cause, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, so, you know, I try to, you know, it is, you know, how it is, like, you know, you, like, I used to be, like, you know, where, like, if something looked cool, I'd pick, pick up volume one, volume two, volume three, and then end up reading volume one or volume two, and then be like, this fucking sucks, and I'm stuck with volume three or four or whatever, right, like, the Witcher books, Lo love Witcher one and two, Bought three and four. Read the third book. Fucking hated it. <laughs> Which, if you read the third book, you would know. You probably guess why I hated it. <laughs> but I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I would say it's like it's like 
you know, a 6.5 out of 10. Not as good as something like, you know, as like, you know, Green Lantern, like, like and, um, Dear Agent, which are very similar to this book, but it's still pretty cool. I would, it, like I said, if you're an Adult Swim fan, check it out. All right, so my next comic book review, we're going, because, because this is, uh, independent, you know how the rotation works, we, it's DC, Marvel, and independent, so the next, um, you know, DC review we have, which because I already review Batman and Superman stuff, I'm, I'm going to review uh, a Justice League book, yeah, Justice League Canada, <laughs> by Jeff Lemire, which is probably going to be fucking awful, but you know, we've been reading a lot of good books lately, so we gotta, you know, we gotta mix it up with some awful books, <laughs> alright guys, that's it for today's review piece, also I'm going to post like, uh, my 5 Deadly Venoms review tonight.